Now, once you understand how you can add validation to the login page, let's take a look at how you can add validation to this register page. So I'm going to back to my project and open the register.js file. As you can see, this is my use for my hook. So I have to add here a validate property. So I'm just going to first create a function inside this validate.js. So right down here, I'm going to say export function register validate. And then you get all the values of your input text boxes as a parameter. So you get that inside this parenthesis. Just for that, I'm going to see here constant errors is equal to and pass an object here. So back to the register.js at the top here, I'm going to say import in the object. I'm going to pass register validate from in the single code space by double dot forward slash lib and then validate dot js file. Now, because we don't have default to this export, I'm going to wrap this inside this object. Let me just copy this register validate. And then right here, I'm going to say validate colon and then pass this function name register validate. Don't forget to pass here comma because we have next property here back to the validate.js and write down here. I'm going to say if if I don't have values dot username, if I don't have the username, then I'm going to say here errors dot username is equal to required and then i'm going to call here else if if values dot username dot includes if the username includes any space then i'm going to return error message errors dot username is equal to invalid username so let me copy this first validation of this login validate right down here and I also have password inside my login. So let me copy this password validation from this login validate. Let me copy this and specify that here. Just for that inside my form, I also have here confirm password. So I have to add here if statement for the confirm password. So I'm going to say here validate confirm password. And here I'm going to say if I don't have values dot C password, then I'm going to return this error message. But this time instead of password, I'm going to return this with C password. Then I'm going to say else if if the values dot password is not equal to values dot C password, then I'm going to return error message. And I will return here error dot C password is equal to password dot match. Just for that, I'm also going to say here else if if values dot c password dot includes if the c password includes any space, then I'm going to return an error message and say here errors dot c password is equal to invalid confirm password. Now this else condition won't execute because we already validated the password. If you want, you can remove this last else if condition. Just for that at the end, you have to return error. So I'm going to say here errors. Now your validation of the registration form is ready. Let me save this file back to the register.js. Right down here, just after this division tag, I'm going to pass curly braces and I'm going to copy this statement and then specify that right here. Now this time, instead of forming errors.password, I'm going to say username. Do the same for this second condition and do the same for this value let me copy this scroll down and specify that here and this is for the email so you specify here email copy this specify that here and here just for that let me copy this statement specify that to the password so just out of this div Right here, I'm going to say password, copy this field, change this email to password and this became password. Scroll down, copy this statement and write down here at the end, just after this confirm input element, I'm going to say here, C password. Copy this, specify that here and then specify that here. Save the changes. Save the changes back to the registration form, reload it. And now if I type something here inside this input text box, 
I'm not going to get any error because this is a valid username. But if I specify here space, you can see I'm going to get here error message invalid username. This is because we have space here. Now, just out of that, you can see we also have here email error, which is required. If I forget to add email, I'm going to get this error message required. If I type the email, you can see the error message is gone because we have a valid email. After that, let me type here password. Move to the confirm password. I'm not going to get any error. This is because we have a valid password here. If I remove this four, this three right from here, I'm going to get an error message must be greater than eight and less than 20 character long. So I'm going to get this error because we have password less than eight character. And if I increase the character length, when I type here 13, I'm going to get the same message again. This is because now the password have more than 20 characters. So let me just remove this. You can see this is a valid password. Now let me space over the same password right down here. If I say here admin, I'm going to get here error message password not match. Oops, I think misspelled here password. Let me specify here one, two, three and four. You can see now my password is matching. So I'm not going to get any error here. If I type here five, I'm going to get error message password not match. Let me remove this five from here. And now if I click on this sign up button and open the console, I'm going to get an object and I'm going to have all the values of this input text boxes as a response. Now that's upon you. You can add more validation inside this form or add sanitization. So that's completely upon you.